CMUEagles.com with Central Methodist head baseball coach Nate Breland as his team prepares to open the 2015 season February 13th and 14th in Henderson, Tennessee. Coach, entering your second season as the head coach of the Eagles, what did you learn from year one to year two? Oh, we had a lot to learn. Uh, you know, we learned a lot about the different styles of the guys and, you know, and this is a, whole, this is a new team this year. You know, we're returning five guys from last year's 29-man varsity roster. Uh, so, you know, we learned a lot of things when it came to coaching styles um, and, you know, how the kids adapted to things and, you know, what was too much for them, what was not enough for them. Uh, this is a different group. This is a, a group heavy of juniors uh, with some younger guys mixed in, but some great seniors from last year's jun team when they were juniors came back. So, uh you know, the biggest part is is just uh, the growing pains and, and figuring out what we need to do better as a staff and, and organization and, you know, basically productivity with them. That was some big changes we've had to make this year. What were some of the modifications that you made as a coach as you move into year two from year one? And I'm sure you probably feel like a lot smarter, you know, a lot of years better after coming off your first year. Uh, last year was definitely a, a very humble learning experience for me. Uh, you know, I had to sit back all summer, you know, with a 21 and 26 record and figure out, you know, what I needed to do to make things better. And it started with recruiting. You know, we went out and we recruited really hard. I added Coach Ehlers to the coaching staff. Uh, and, you know, our staff really dug in this year and uh, made some ad adapted to this new group we, we have in. And, and this group works their tail off and, you know, we're looking forward to it. You open your season playing in Henderson, Tennessee over two days. You'll play two teams. You'll play Freed Hardman and St. Francis out of Illinois. Both teams made the national championship opening round last year. Both teams returned talent from last season. Talk first about Freed Hardman and the challenges they pose to your squad. Uh, Freed Hardman has six games in right now. And, uh, you know, they play a really good Northwestern Ohio team. Uh, four games set last weekend and split with them. Uh, they're a team that's built on speed, you know, and I've told our guys all week, uh, you miss a cutoff, you bobble a ball, uh, overthrow, ball in the dirt, this team's going to advance. Uh, this team kind of has very controlled chaos on the bases, and they've got the speed to back it up. So, uh, you know, of course, they swing it as well as, as anybody out there. Uh, they attack balls in the zone. Um, you know, very few strikeouts, also limited on walks. They're a very aggressive team. Uh, you know, Jonathan down there. Uh, does a great job with them. They've bought into the system. You know, they're similar style every year. Uh, and, you know, they win 30, 35 games every year. So the system works. Uh, we're going to have to shut down the run game and uh, have them beat us, you know, with the bats and defensively. Freed Hardman leads the country in steals per game. You allude to their speed on the base paths. What are some of the things that you've noticed about them that you think make them such a good team at taking bases? Well, I mean, I think it's a mindset. I think Jonathan recruited, recruited guys that have stole 40, 50 bases in the past at junior colleges and high school, and he's brought them in there, and he's basically taken the gloves off and said, hey, uh, you know, get reads, you know, get in the right counts, do what you have to do to get to second and third, uh, and they do a very good job doing that. I mean, if you go back and look at, you know, we've been looking at doing scouting reports here for a couple of days with them, and, you know, half of their runs are after you know, the top of that order has taken bases and then, you know, one blue base hit or a pass ball and a run score. So uh, they've definitely bought in, but, you know, it's hard to, it's hard to teach and coach speed. And, uh, you know, basically the only thing we're, we're going with right now is you can't steal first base. So if we can keep them off the bases and make them earn their way on by not walks or hit by pitches, you know, we'll see what we can do. When you look at your matchup against St. Francis, again, a team that is a tradition-rich program made it to the uh, – championship game of the Georgia Regional last year. What are some of the tools, players that they bring back and what, are, what is kind of their philosophy for Eagles fans that aren't used to seeing uh, St. Francis play? Um, you know, we're not super familiar with St. Francis, but we've done some homework on them and uh, made a couple calls. Uh, they return, a, they return a, a talented depth of pitching. Uh, they definitely lost their ace to the draft last year. Uh, and then they return a shortstop. Uh, and some key, two or three other key players on the infield for them in the outfield that, that's going to contribute. Uh, you know, St. Francis built their team last year on, on pitching, you know. Uh, so we're going to have to get in there. You know, they don't walk a lot of guys, low ERA, team ERA last year in the, in the low threes, 
and they return a bulk of that. Um, and then, you know, Melendez hitting a three-hole for him last year at shortstop, probably going to hit in the one or two or three again this year for him. So, you know, we'll have to kind of hold him at bay, uh, but very good fundamental team. They're going to make plays, so we're going to have to put some pressure on them and, and uh, you know, try to hang with the pitching. What are some of the keys that you stress to your team that you're trying to accomplish from this weekend? We're just trying to go up there and play clean baseball. You know, we're trying to play hard. Uh, we're getting our feet wet, you know, opening weekend out. Anytime for a North team, you know, it's important to get south. Uh, we're just trying to go play clean baseball, you know, and come together and find out what roles each guy is going to take uh, or, you know, who's going to step away next weekend coming to Joplin of winning a starting job or continue to keep a starting job. Uh, you know, if we, if we come out of there and we've worked hard and we've limited our mistakes, uh, you know, our walk-to-strikeout ratio is solid, um, you know, I'll feel pretty happy coming out of the weekend.